So this video is about how to use Time Doctor to track the work of virtual assistants. So if you have a virtual assistant working in your own country or maybe you have a virtual assistant overseas working in a country like the Philippines, you might want to know exactly what they're doing. Uh, how much work are they doing? What hours are they doing? Because they're not in the same office, you don't know exactly what's going on. So that's where Time Doctor comes in. It allows you to track the exact time worked for each person on your team and it allows you to see what that person is doing and to confirm that they are working those hours that you're asking them to work and that you're paying them for. So we have a number of features such as the screenshot feature and you can see here screenshots of each person that are working at a regular interval. It can be three minutes or ten minutes, you can choose the interval. And you can see, for example, this person here uh, has done some work uh, on various things, but they also, if you, you scroll down, you'll see here that they're on Facebook. So you know, for example, this person is, um, if they weren't supposed to be working on Facebook, you know that that may not be uh, a sanctioned activity. Now, I personally allow a certain amount of flexibility if, if my team are on Facebook a little bit, I don't have a problem with it as long as they're getting their job done. But it allows you to know if somebody's on Facebook half of the day, then you're going to pick that up very quickly. And also you can associate it with their productivity. So if they're not getting the job done and you look and you see that actually they're getting distracted and they're on Facebook, then that's a, the reason for it. Or you may use these screenshots to determine a little bit more what they're actually doing in their work. So you can see that they're spending a lot of time on certain tasks. Why is it taking so much time? Is it that critical? Is there a way they could do it that was more effective? So you can use that to see what the virtual assistant is doing and to make them more effective, make sure that they're able to focus on the most important high priority tasks. So that also shows you the keyboard and mouse movement so you can see if they're using their keyboard or their mouse while they're working and you can use that information to, to make sure to get an idea of what they're doing and, and how intensely they're using their computer for some types of work. Obviously, if they're doing a training, they're watching a video, they're not going to be using their keyboard and mouse, but for other types of work, it may be necessary that they do use their keyboard and mouse. And while they're working, they use an application such as this, where they can select on a variety of tasks and start tracking their time. So for example, I can uh, click on here to start tracking time for this task, call out clients, and that will start the entire application from working. So that's how the application works for the user who's using it. And it also integrates with other things such as Basecamp. If you have tasks that are on Basecamp, you can do that as well. You can integrate it there and see the task. So that's how, how it works. This application takes screenshots of their computer screen. It also identifies the websites and applications that they're using. And you can also use that information to see more details of what the person is doing and to understand where their time is going during the day and to see if they need to become more productive or to see how they can direct their activities more effectively. So that's a couple of features of Time Doctor and how you can use it for virtual assistants. You can also see the exact tasks that they're working on and how long they spend on each task, which is obviously very important for virtual assistants to know for each task if they're doing a travel uh, booking for you. Why did the travel booking take 10 hours or why, why did it take um, 10 hours when it's supposed to only take one hour, for example? Uh, you can identify things that might be a lot more difficult than you initially thought to do. And so that's interesting information to look at. So that's some of the key things. I like to give people flexibility of time. This software allows you to be a bit more flexible with the time that you give to your virtual assistants because now you know that if they are flexible, you know that they are working during those flexible hours. So another thing that you might want to look at is if you're hiring a virtual assistant, do you need to then pay them? So we have some integrations for payroll, uh, for paying your virtual assistants and three of the major methods that we use is Payoneer, PayPal, and TransferWise. So those are some of the features that we have for tracking the time for virtual assistants. Give Time Doctor a trial, it's a 30-day free trial, and let me know any feedback that you have with the software.